One of the critical advantages that the Americans have in formulating a strategy to defeat Great Britain is they have a center of gravity that they can actually assail. George Washington knows what to do to win this war, and that is to inflict enough defeats on the British Army that it is going to cause Parliament and King George to reassess whether or not their interests are best served by the continuance of this war. Strategy is not such a clear-cut affair from the British perspective. They thought initially that all they would have to do is demonstrate their manifest military superiority and that New Englanders would be brought to heel and that most other Americans, loyalists at heart, would respond to the show of force with renewed allegiance to their British sovereign. Once that thesis was disproven, however, and the British learned that this was more than an isolated affair in New England, they struggled to find an appropriate center of gravity. They didn't know what to do with their army, so they moved from one place to another, hoping to pick low-hanging fruit and that eventually the Americans would lose the will to continue to resist in this fight. The Americans never did lose that will, and the British ultimately did.